I think it'll be beneficial to give you an overview of the hydrologic cycle. Since it does a good job of explaining how water is moved around the earth on a broad scale, making it available to communities across the country. We'll start the cycle with the concept of evaporation. Water that is stored in large bodies of surface water will evaporate and enter the atmosphere. For our purpose here, the ocean will be our main source of water vapor. Through a process called advection, this water vapor will move horizontally through the atmosphere carried by natural wind currents over land. The water vapor will then condense and form water droplets creating clouds. The clouds will also continue to move across the land and drop its stored water in the form of rain, snow, or hail. This is called precipitation. Once the water lands on the ground, it can do one of three things. It can run off through channel flow and enter streams, rivers, and lakes. It can infiltrate into the ground and recharge the aquifer below or it can evaporate and begin the cycle all over again. Well, let's take a look at some of the things water utilities must consider when tapping into this water supply for the beneficial use of its customers. Water systems that use surface water as a water source are very interested in protecting the water quality of the source water. This is accomplished by protecting the watershed. The watershed is the area of land that collects and directs precipitation to a collection point which is usually a natural or man-made lake. The watershed is defined by the mountain ridges or higher elevation points that surround the river, lake, or reservoir from which the water utility is taking its water. Systems that use groundwater by drilling wells into the aquifer benefit from the groundwater recharge that occurs when surface water infiltrates into the ground. The permeability and porosity of the ground will determine both the rate at which water recharges the aquifer and the rate at which it can be removed by a well. Groundwater utilities must be careful that they don't overdraw the aquifer. Overdrawing an aquifer means that they are taking more water out of the aquifer than is being recharged through natural recharge. As shown in our drawing, this can lead to seawater intrusion in coastal communities. By altering the subsurface flow of water, it's possible to shift the hydraulic gradient such that seawater will begin to move inland. Overdrawing an aquifer is not a sustainable operational strategy in the long run, since the wells will eventually dry up. 